I'm going to demonstrate the creation of a dimension and the transformation and load process for that dimension. I right click the dimension folder, create new, and that opens up a new dimension editor. Now to define the attributes of the dimension, I'll use the metadata from one of our source tables. Click, click import, AdventureWorks. So we are creating the sales reason dimension. So I will create its metadata from the sales region table in the AdventureWorks database. Give it a friendly name. As you can see, the dimension attributes have been generated for us. I know that I don't need this modifier date attribute, so I'll delete that. I can change the names. I can define the column types. So sales reason ID is my business key. Name is an attribute and reason type is an attribute. And for attributes, I can define the slowly changing dimension type for the attribute. As well as descriptions and other metadata for documentation purposes. Now, the next thing you'd want to do is create a transform and load process for this dimension. Give my transform load process a name. Select the load frequency. Select the ETL pattern. I'll select the source table for my transformation. I'll define how we match staging records to dimension records for update, delete and insert purposes. I can also define an expression at this level. I can then define the transformations between staging and the data warehouse dimension. I can use my match button down here to match based on name or I can go into each transformation individually, create a description for documentation purposes, create a mapping between columns, or define a custom expression. Once our, our transformation is defined, then we are pretty much done.